California is noted for its diversity of plants and animals. The reason for that diversity is lots of habitats. Right here in San Diego County, we have more diversity than any other county in the United States. Here at Mission Trails Park, we can go through five habitats on a short walk. And that's what we're going to do today. Right now, we're in a riparian community. This corridor is filled with special members of that plant community. Sycamore, cottonwood, and willow. Willow is a signature plant of the riparian community. You wonder why willow is so common along stream sides? It has to do with their incredible ability to reproduce. They have plants with male flowers on some, females on the other. About half of the willow plants have male flowers on little catkins, but all the males are gone. They've produced their pollen, they're done. What's left are the female flowers. These fruits now have uh, developed seeds, and the seeds have attached to them this foofy material. These are seeds, they'll blow with the wind, they'll float with the water, they'll be all over the place. That's why we have willow along a stream side, which represents the riparian zone. Let's go check out another habitat. We're under a coast live oak. We've just left the riparian zone and we've entered another habitat zone, the oak woodland. The oak trees in California are basically California. They've allowed the Indians to survive and they have a wonderful diversity within the leaves, along the twigs, and actually beneath the soil. Special fungus lives beneath the soil, which allows the roots to improve their efficiency. This tree is evergreen. The leaves uh, have a canopy all year long. A major ecosystem within this tree, lots of diversity, plants, animals thrive in this tree. It's about 10 to 20 degrees cooler here than most of the other habitats. From the oak woodland, We'll move off to the grasslands next. We're here in the grasslands. We don't know what the grasslands looked like a couple hundred years ago, but we do know they were quite different. What's here now are lots of annual grasses from the Mediterranean region mostly. We've got some native bunch grasses left. These bunch grasses have deep roots and they are perennial year after year. We can just picture behind me uh, some of the hawks, maybe a kite going after snakes and little rodents here in the grasslands. We're leaving the grasslands now. Our next stop will be a chaparral hillside. I can see it from here. I'm on my way into the chaparral. That's not easy. These twigs are spiny. These twigs are hurting. The most common chaparral shrub in California is chamise. And here it is with these beautiful white blossoms. As it progresses through the summer and into the fall, these white blossoms turn into a bronze color all up on the hillsides. Another plant here in the chaparral is spiny redberry. Spiny for a reason. Not real thorns or spines like a rose bush, but on the ends of each of these twigs, are lots of spines. It's got little red berries on it. Most chaparral shrubs have waxy leaves, very thick leathery leaves, to spend most of the year out here in the hot sun. And another member of the chaparral community with red is this sticky red bush monkey flower. Bright red to orange and even off into yellow. This particular specimen is sort of a compromise with colors. So here on this north facing slope is a chemise with its leathery leaves typifying most chaparral shrubs. Chemise, red berry, and monkey flower here in the chaparral. We're on a south facing slope. 
This is coastal sage scrub. A lot of the plants in this community are right here. We've got white sage right here. Very aromatic. This typifies uh, the coastal sage scrub. We have deer weed, which is good in this area because it replenishes the soil with nitrogen, as all members of the pea family do. Right here is sagebrush, California sagebrush. It's not a sage, but it has an aroma of sage. And that's also one of the features of the sage scrub. Lots of aromatic plants. Up behind me is a large shrub, laurel sumac. It's green all year. You can see a sage scrub hillside, drab and dry and nice green laurel sumacs right in the middle. Coastal sage scrub right next to the chaparral here in Mission Trails Park. Lots of diversity in San Diego County. We visited five habitats here in Mission Trails Park. Lots of other opportunities, lots of other parks. Go to the website and you can find parks from the coast to the foothills to the mountains to the desert and have a similar day like we've had here on the five habitats in Mission Trails Regional Park.